Have you ever encountered this error over here when trying to build your .NET Core application in either GitHub Actions or Azure Pipelines, or in general when trying to use .NET Core on Linux? Today I'm going to tell you exactly why this happens and how to fix it. Let's get into it in this 3 Minutes Friday. Hi everybody, welcome back to Cutter Dave, where we talk about DevOps, especially with GitHub and Azure DevOps. And welcome to a new episode of the 3 Minutes series. As you know, only 3 minutes to show you something, teach you something, or talk about a topic. Today we talk about the no usable version of the libssl was found error when building a .NET Core application in Actions or Pipelines. And actually, in general, when using .NET Core in Linux. But let's start the clock and get into it. So let me tell you first why this happens. .NET Core, among the other things, relies on some of the OpenSSL libraries. And OpenSSL is one of the most common cryptographic libraries used on Linux, and it has multiple versions. Version 1.0 is kind of old, but still heavily used, while version 1.1 is the newer version that was relatively recently released. The problem is that the versions 1.0 and 1.1 of the OpenSSL library are not intercompatible. And that means that an application that requires the version 1.0 will not be able to build or run against the version 1.1. And even though the version 1.0, as I said before, is still widely used, many Linux distributions in the latest versions has started making the version 1.1 the default library installed. And in fact, here relies the problem. .NET Core 2.1 and all the earlier versions of .NET Core only support OpenSSL 1.0, and therefore they cannot run. Hence the error. So how can we fix this? Well, we have two ways to do so. Well, the simple solution would be to upgrade to a more recent version of .NET Core. And I'm not talking about major upgrades. You don't need to go all the way to .NET 5, because luckily for us, the .NET team has updated .NET Core 2.1 in March to support the version 1.1 of OpenSSL. All you need to do is make sure that you are using the latest minor build of .NET Core 2.1 which at the time of recording this video is the 2.1.28, which has an SDK version of 2.1.816. But of course, if you could upgrade to .NET Core 2.2 or higher, it would be even better. And doing this, either one of those solutions, either one of those upgrades, doing this in actions and pipelines is really, really simple. Just change the version of .NET Core in the setup task and you are done. But if for any reason for you it is not possible to upgrade even to the minor version of .NET Core, then there is one more thing you can do to solve this problem. Even though, as I said before, many distributions have started using the version 1.1 of OpenSSL as the new default, the package for the 1.0 is still out there and so all you need to do is finding it and installing it on your system. On CentOS and Fedora, for example, it's called compat-openssl110. For OpenSUSE instead, it's libopenssl1 underscore zero underscore zero. And finally, for Ubuntu and Debian, we have the libssl-dev. After installing the older version of the OpenSSL library, which can coexist with the newer one, .NET Core will be able to find it and use it automatically. And this, of course, can be done locally on your machine for development purposes, but also on CI platforms like GitHub Actions and Azure Pipelines, just using a script task or equivalent action that allow you to run some shell command like apt-get or equivalent. And we're done. Let's stop the clock. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any other question about this topic and how to fix this problem or this problem in general. And also check out this video over here in which I go through how to use GitHub Actions for building a .NET framework application. But that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you in the next video here at Carter Dave.